I just had a sweater on that had spit up all over it. Yeah, and just had that motherfucker like on. Custom piece. I should make some designer no. hoodies for dads that already come with pre-spit up on it. That is- but it's like a design though, but it's like a, it's almost like a monogram, like a design type of thing. Like, you know, you could feel it, like the textures, like, but it's not really spit up. But then when the baby actually spits up on it, it softens up. And then it makes their own Bro. line of spit up on the sweater. And you just don't wash it for a long time. Ew. And then when you do wash it, and when you do wash it, it stains like it stains it in there. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to another, to another episode, episode of We Do Not Care the Podcast. Last podcast. Yes. What's up? Bro. I hope y'all have had a great week. Yeah, man. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We forgot holidays. to say that last time. For I know. We're going into the we honestly, Christmas that week. Yeah, we honestly like didn't. I mean, we did a lot for Christmas because of seven. But we also didn't do a lot of Christmas for Christmas because of seven. We didn't do a lot. No, I mean, we saw your family. Yeah, a lot of, yes, people came over. People came over, you know, our bubble came over. The bubble came over. And. The bubble fan. That's pretty much it. But we didn't have a tree. We didn't have none of that. So we did do that. We we, we hopped on that, on that. (laughs) What? Uh, on that on that flannel challenge on the flannel challenge <laughs> I know your mom hit it that shit was hilarious I was not expecting that got us some pajamas it was like listen y'all gotta take a picture with you open that one first then take a picture <laughs> like, damn can I open it is it really open it and see what it is open it take know. a picture with it right now seven's little bow I was like I'm so tired <laughs> but I'm so that. glad we got those pictures cause they're so yeah. cute that was adorable with our dog, our dog had a little flannel bow tie. Yeah, he he got he got a little bow tie collection now. Yeah, he does. He has three bow ties. He take bow places. It's funny they all plaid. They are all plaid. He has a Burberry <laughs> bow tie. It's like, what are you? What are you? Man, he's a he's a bougie dog. Specialized dog, man. He is a special dog. Special dog, man. He's so cute. He's, he's got our a first lot of soul, baby, man. A lot of soul. First baby, yes, he is. But he's also got a lot of soul, man. <laughs> is that a segue? Is huh? that the segue? <laughs> Was it? I don't know. How's your week, man? Was it? What you mean? How's, how's my week? <laughs> it's been the same as your week, really. Yeah, you remember when we watched that movie? That movie on Christmas? We did watch Soul on Christmas, which is Loki. With the mariachi band outside our, our front window, goddammit. it. Yeah. Oh my god! But that that movie is low key my new favorite Pixar movie for yeah, sure. Yeah, that one really good. That was a really good movie. That was a really good fucking movie, Pixar. And um, <laughs> I thought Pixar was out the game because you know they was Disney was animating with some other people, wasn't they? No. Yeah, they was. It was animating with some other people. It was like some other, you know, the other like genius. I don't know. I can't remember when. Uh, I need receipts. Uh. I think it's for the one with the old with the old hunchback nigga. That's so with, long with ago. Minions. I'm saying, what studio is that though? Like, that's Disney? not Disney. That's Universal. Oh, that's not Disney. Mm-mm, the Minions. Take this part out. Remember, because they have Anyways. the Minions at Universal Studio. Oh, they do. Yeah. I'll be faded. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, I thought Pixar is out the game. They got like. <laughs> Not like out the, the game, but like hits. they ain't like you know what I'm saying. I thought they was crossing. I don't know, man. Man, hey man, that shit was fire though, man. It was, it was really fire, good. Man. It was really good. I it loved fire. it. I, I want to know so how everybody much. got all these, all these behind the scenes. Uh, Hi, Kobe. Like they was they were showing the the barbershop scene, uh-huh. like on Twitter, like a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm trying to figure out how they. Probably um, just previews and stuff. There was previews for this? I didn't see no previews yeah, for this. Yeah, there was previews. Where have I been? Ha- having a baby. Hmm. 
a little infant that we're Probably taking just care previews. of. Oh yeah, that's right. Huh? Movies have previews, don't they? Yeah. So, yeah. You talking so loud, movie, man? This was a really good movie. It was. It was black. It was black. I love that it was black and it had soul itself. It did. It was full of soul. It was so yes. cute. It made me feel like oh, life is just meant to be lived. Mm-hmm. Don't no put so much pressure say. on stuff. What do you mean what your parents say? No, I'm because his mom was like, get a job. Get a good job, man. You don't want to do that. Don't do that. Don't, uh-huh. don't live your dreams out. Because I saw your dad live his dreams out. It wasn't good. And he was like, oh, well, I'm going to do it anyway. But I don't know. It was kind of weird because I was like, but the whole point was just like, yeah, you could have like a good life no matter what the circumstances. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That was like a real the true point. That was the point of the movie. I feel like at least it was so cute. It was, it was so really good movie. It was done cute. Really well. It was like next to Inside Out levels. It was better than Inside Out to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't watch it like three times already. Huh? Yeah, we watched it three times. But really, <laughs> I feel like we don't have like a ton to talk about because all we're doing is taking care of a baby for the past five weeks. Yeah. That's all it's been. I talk about that. Constantly. How how real it is. Like I just had a sweater on that had spit up all over it. Yeah, and just had that motherfucker like on. Custom piece. I should make some designer no. hoodies for dads that already come with pre spit up on it. That is- but it's like a design though. But it's like a, it's almost like a monogram, like a design type of thing. Like you know, you could feel it, like the textures, like. But it's not really spit up. But then when the baby actually spits up on it, it softens up. And then it makes their own Bro. line of spit up on the sweater. And you just don't wash it for a long time. Ew. And then when you do wash it, and you do wash it, it stains. Like, it stains it in there. It, re- it restains it. It goes, it, it goes back to the way that you bought it, how I did it originally. Don't tell me. Tell me that's not hard. That's what the, Man. No, that's a really bad dads, idea. I'm not the dads out there lie. in the comments. New dads, listen. You having this problem to spit up? Get you some, get you some designer baby spit up hoodies. Mm. You can wear them out to the grocery store. Mm-mm. No, she does spit you feel up. Good about yourself. Everywhere though, it's like uh, like everywhere. She had like she spit up literally on the floor today. Oh my gosh. Like projectile. <laughs> oh my, like like I could hear it like land on the floor. She sound like throw up. Huh? It just sound like throw up. It didn't sound like throw like, up. Ew. No, it didn't sound like that. It just sounded like he spilled something on the floor. But she's so cute. I miss her. She's growing fast, man. She's growing so fast. It's pretty crazy. Um, Yeah, it's crazy. It is. They just poop, eat, and sleep. That's all. Poop, eat, sleep. Cry, poop, eat, sleep. Cry. That's all she as, she, as she starts to cry now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Probably not. Probably not. No. But she's downstairs with her grandma. With her, your Mimi. Yeah. With my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. It's been it's been awesome though. You be hogging her. And she loves she loves your bosom. Talking about I be hogging her. She just eats all day. That's what she does. <laughs> well, I be hogging her. And then I only, she only want to get fed by me in the middle of the night. But I just fell asleep. When I'm pump, pumping, it's like a lot. It's a lot on it. It's a lot. Yeah. I don't like pumping at all. At all. You're doing great, though. I hate it so much. There was like, oh my gosh. There was like two weeks where I just had to pump literally every two hours, if not every hour and oh, a half. Yeah. That first, like, the first three weeks. The first, let me tell you, if you're pregnant or about to have a baby or planning on having a baby, the first 
month is so hard. So hard. Like, it is tough. And people don't talk about that at all. Like, it's literally all-consuming. It's all you can do. It's very taxing. It's so taxing. You're so tired, and, like, you don't really know the baby like that very well in the first, like, week or or two. You know what I mean? Like, what they need or what they want. Why they're crying. Why they're crying. Now it's like, I know that she either wants to eat or she or she needs to burp. Yeah. That's it. It's one of the two. Or she got to poop. She got it this way or this way. Yeah. Sorry, right, stand up. <laughs> She's so Look, cute. Look, you got to shake it like a little. No. <laughs> Don't gotta, say that. I'm so serious. I'll be, I'll be just like bouncing a little bit. She'd be like. <laughs> Don't say shake it, baby. <laughs> And then she just let that shit out. She'd be like, <sighs> enough crying. You don't shake her. You bounce sleep. her. All right. That's what I meant. A bouncer. Yeah, just, but you should have put it on, the, on YouTube that you shake your child. <laughs> Obviously, don't shake the baby. I'm not like, <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> stop I'm it. Saying, I'll bounce her a little bit. Let the little just. It works. She sleeps on my shoulder right after. She does like to sleep on your shoulders. For sure. For sure, for sure. But yeah. yeah. That's all life has been. I low key feel like I'm like getting less cool because I don't even be knowing what's happening in the world anymore. Yeah. I feel you. I tried looking on on the interwebs before. Not tried, I did, and I got sidetracked, and then I was actually supposed to be doing that before we recorded, but <laughs> Oh, you know what I did see? <laughs> Which was, um, I saw literally in the like five minutes before, I don't know, just the five minutes that I get to just do whatever. Huh? <laughs> you said what? I said you're making some tortures. What? In the five minutes that I get to do. It's not torturous at all. The five it's the a... minutes that I get outside. Did you see this? No, but you don't get a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, are we recording here? <laughs> You're showing me something on your phone. Yeah, we are. I'll show them too. That was, that, was, that was really funny. I think I sent it to you. I don't know. Maybe. It's not really going on but basketball. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah, that's the, basketball the one thing I back. saw. Was, well, yeah, basketball. But I also Ooh. saw that shit about Larsa Pippen. And Bronny? Yeah. Okay, this nigga liked her picture. Like, don't. Yeah, oh, no. that's it? No. All he did was like her picture. What? I, it's, I mean, I don't know. What are your sources? My sources are Twitter. That's why I'm saying I don't know. Okay, yeah. Twitter's fucking wild. And like, That's they're laughing. saying a whole bunch of nice shit. Like, what? They, they're saying that they, they like they, DMs. They, they, they in each other DMs? Yeah. I'm not going to entertain that shit. Oh, okay. That <laughs> <laughs> shit wild. Okay. Let me look at what else is happening. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! Wonder Woman eighty four. We gotta check that out. <laughs> we gotta check that out. <laughs> nah, that's not what we. You can't, you can't say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> we meant to. So look, we had a date night yesterday. We meant to check. We were supposed to. We went to go watch Wonder Woman eighty four at this parent at this drive in theater. You know what I'm saying? It's a little fly drive in theater. That we had been to before and um, got there, line was bussing. And then it started moving, it was moving quick. We got in, and it was like, yeah, actually, uh, we full for the night. Y'all gotta turn around. So then we just had to pivot. We was gonna watch Wonder Woman. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, they got it, they actually got it on HBO Max. <laughs> so we can yeah. watch it at the crib, but you know, we was, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We was trying to have a little day night, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, so we probably gonna watch it after this and give y'all a review. So uh, tune back in later. 
Is that what we're going to do? Nah, not at all. Yeah, I don't even really care to watch it like that. Yeah, me either. That bad. I was excited. And then after last night, it's just not meant to be. Yeah, not at all. We just had to. I was literally like, we have to do something because we're out of the house. And we don't be getting out of the house like that. Yeah, so we just stargazed. <laughs> yeah. Stargazed. I'm like, is this a parent's podcast now? Is it? I don't know. Nah. You don't got to be a parent's podcast. You got to get this out of our system, though. You did make yeah. a point when we was trying to figure out what to talk about. And everything really must have, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but hey, listen. Listen, that's what the podcast is. We just want to talk about shit. We're going to talk about what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how it's nothing to talk about. It's everything to talk about. How you feel about that season last stimulus? <laughs> I, I want it. <laughs> I still want it. Fuck that stimulus. I'm talking about fuck that stimulus. I'm going to take it. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to take it, but fuck that stimulus. I don't need that stimulus. What am I going to do without the stimulus? Huh? Huh? You said what? So what was I doing without the stimulus? I mean, I'm just saying. I'll take $600. Yeah, whatever it makes wild. They should give yeah, everybody way more than $600. Yeah, that's $1,200 for nine. For nine months. <laughs> <months. laughs> really, over the last nine months. <laughs> and then they're going to try to... We'll give another 600. We'll give niggas 18 dollars <laughs> <laughs> for, for 12. For 10 months. For 10 months. It's, be, it's probably 10, maybe 11 months by the time they get off. Yeah. Oof. My stomach. It's so hard to sit up straight. You want this chair? No, it's not gonna help. It's gonna have you leaning. <laughs> it's gonna have you leaning. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, my fault. No, you good. You are good. Grand, grand, grand and fantastic. Yeah. Um. Yeah, all we really have to talk about is seven for real. Huh? We were talking yesterday. I think yesterday. What were you saying yesterday? What was I saying yesterday? You know what you were saying yesterday? What? <laughs> you saying something yesterday? You saying something about something yesterday? I have no idea what you're talking about. What was we talking about yesterday? I don't know. Hmm? The baby gap. We were talking about what? Baby gap. No. No. No, we weren't. <laughs> we look. Yeah, Seven got some baby gap. She got some baby Levi's. Yeah, she all I'm talking about is the baby. <laughs> the baby is the baby. And the baby's baby is the baby, baby, baby. This might as well be a parent podcast at this point. So, right. what's been the like, what's been the most challenging? part of this for you the most challenging part of having a baby yeah just like this this like this whole parent life because i feel like you know doing this with you alongside by you the moment she was like it was different when we when you were pregnant and you know what i'm saying we had our responsibilities and like you were pregnant yeah you were pregnant with her yeah and then it was like the moment she was born Everything changed. changed. Like I told, who was I saying that yesterday to the other day? It was like the first time I put a diaper on her. After that, shit didn't stop. Like you, I just thought about it. Yeah. It's like diapers just keep. You don't stop. I haven't stopped changing her diaper yet. Like, nothing her diaper stops. Stop changing. Yeah, nothing stops. I don't know. I did see something the other day that was like, what was the hardest? What's the hardest part for you? Like pregnancy, birth, mm. sleep, or breastfeeding? Yeah. I think sleep I hard, honestly all of it is, is really hard pregnancy was so easy compared though to, to the first the, the um, postpartum mm-hmm. yeah pregnancy yeah. is so easy compared I mean it's part emotionally I, I'll say that the oh, early man. part of pregnancy was really really hard yeah. I had a really hard 
I had a pretty hard pregnancy. I'm not going to lie. Like, it wasn't, like, smooth sailing the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, your first, but, first quarter of your pregnancy was, like... Honestly, the first half. The first half. Almost three quarters. Like, yeah. I feel like, like I got, like, a couple weeks where it was, like, I was chill. Everything was cool. I felt, like, a little cute pregnant belly. Uh-huh. And I wasn't super tired. I wasn't super tired or throwing up every single day. And then right after that, I just got super big. <laughs> and that's hard to... That's just hard, too. In its own different way. It's not... Yeah, you get, like, heartburn and shit, but... I think the hardest part, honestly, breastfeeding was really, really hard. That shit was hard. At the beginning. Because it's just so hard. Because Seven wasn't, like, latching. Mm -hmm. So, it was just really hard because we had to, like, figure out how to feed her breast milk. And we wanted to keep... Like breastfeeding. Yeah, we wanted to keep giving her breast milk and not just like automatically give her formula. So that was really challenging. We literally had to like syringe feed her. That was that was pretty tough. And she had lost weight. So we had to like help her gain weight. So we literally had to like syringe feed her every hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. Yeah, at most. That was really, really hard. And that was really for like... Two days, two, three days we had to do that. No. Was it? Yeah, because then we met with Darian again, or we talked to her again, and she was like, all right, well. Darian's a lot of lactation consultant. Yeah. And she, um, she had got weight again and actually gained weight over, like, two days. Oh, over yeah. Like two days. Because we had met with uh, Angela after. Really? No, I Angela, remember. We Angela after we met with Darian. In between, like, her not feeding and her starting to feed, then we finally, or, no, Angela in between with Darian. Yeah. Because Angela was the one that told you about the pump. Got the pump, start pumping. Boom. Got the milk, start feeding her with that. Was feeding her with that, pumping, feeding, pumping, feeding, pumping, feeding. Yeah. That was so difficult. Then it was like her feet, her feeding kept changing. Like, it was like, okay, once every hour, hour and a half, two ounces. Yeah. I was like, all right, uh every hour and a half to three hours. Yeah. Uh, it's like, what she said, like... Four ounces. 32 ounces in a day or some shit like that? No, like, like 24 ounces. 24 ounces. But now she drinks way more than that. Way she more than like that. Double. It's been like four weeks since then, or like five weeks since then. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. That was so hard. But I remember I went to the hospital because I had, like, a uterine infection. Oh, yeah. And we thought we would have to... Yeah, it was so, it was so scary. And we thought we were going to have to feed seven um, formula. Luckily, I had hella breast milk, like, just at the crib at the time. Because I was just pumping pumping all the time. Yeah, and I was pumping at the hospital and Denzel was picking it up. Yeah. It was really like, we was like, either way, we're going to be good. Because she had the, she had like two pouches frozen. Yeah. And then, like, two vials. She was going you know, through a lot, though. Yeah. But then you started using bottles. And then after, That's honestly, when using bottles, yeah. after that, that day, she started latching. Like, when I came back, she started latching really well. Mm-hmm. And then breastfeeding. Now she just breastfeeds all the time. But, like, nobody tells you that <clears throat> this shit is, like, the first two weeks is, like, it's, like, the biggest bliss that you ever have in your whole entire life but also the biggest smack in the face yeah. like i mean like you don't we have sleep. to stress this so much because they don't not even they it's just like i don't even know i guess i guess i mean looking back at this we'll probably just be like if anybody you know getting pregnant for the first time be like yeah man you're ready to lose your sleep because it's just as simple just, as that you just but it's really like lose your sleep you're so so fucking sleep deprived. You gotta imagine, like the moment she was born, we 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 was up for like f- a whole 24, 25 hours at that point. Yeah, and you then know? we slept for like like she had one long sleep where she slept for like for six like hours. Six hours, which is like long. <laughs> yeah, for 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 that time. Yeah, like now it's like okay, okay, we got her down for six hours. But that, we slept, and then after we woke up, straight to it. 
Like no sleep. Feeding, pumping, feeding, burping, changing that leg. Just I don't even like, remember ah, what ah, like ah, <laughs> all day, all night, all day, all night. And then it, it, it did her schedule don't change during the night. It's the same thing that it was during the day. So it was like what do you mean? It was just like every 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 on the hour, on the hour, on the hour, hour and a half, oh, two hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like the, she went to sleep you at twelve. Literally lose at two. your sleep. Um, listen, I'm glad to be kind of a young mom. No, same, same. Because it was like, I mean, the difference is, I mean, with me, you know, I I be staying up late, so. I'll be up to like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I don't know how you'd be doing that. You know what I'm saying? You still stay but, up late and then have. Yes. And I'm then I have to. I'll be, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm definitely. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm lusting for that sleep. Man. Come on, man. Yeah. And also, yeah, but definitely need, need my sleep. I'm <laughs> like, you still stay up late and then, though, you, and then you feed seven at like two in and the then morning. Yeah, to like five. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. You just literally like. But then you be letting me sleep in in the morning, so then I, I yeah, sleep. Yeah, that's true. I sleep for. I guess it was, it gets, I take advantage of that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> sure, Thank sure you for sleep. feeding her in the middle of the night. Be sleep. <laughs> literally, like I've fallen asleep breastfeeding her before. Yeah. Same. Talking about saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not breastfeeding, just feeding her like. I have fallen asleep like you lose uh, it's hardcore and I feel like people are like oh get ready to lose your sleep ha ha you're never gonna sleep again ha ha and it's like no you will never sleep (laughs) like getting four hours of sleep in a row is literally amazing at this point like amazing yeah yeah, that shit is actually Four hours of sleep in a row. It's just that is that does not happen very often. It doesn't, and you gotta. You never know when that may come and how and how it may come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and especially if you're breastfeeding, a a midday midday nap. You may just pass out on the couch, fall asleep for four hours. She fell asleep, and she didn't wake up, and you woke up four hours later, like. Sleep. Yeah, you definitely have to sleep when the baby is sleeping. That's what everybody says. Yeah. But you like literally have to sleep when the baby is sleeping, or else you don't get sleep. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll be up doing stuff when she's sleeping. I'm like, I have no idea if I'm gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> you that literally the, never know if you're gonna question. sleep that night. Yeah. Never. It's like, then if I do this until eight. I should probably stop at like 8.30. So then that way, I okay. can try to go to sleep at 9. No, <gasps> she's going to wake up at like 2. So then I'll probably get five hours. i get five hours like that. And then... The first two weeks, I like barely changed clothes, honestly. Like, I was just yeah. in a row. It's been a lot of bum, bum me. Bummy days. <laughs> but I mean, we, be, we, was, we, was, we was bummy around the house all the time anyway. Yeah, but it was like a different type of bummy. It's like the type where it's this like... This is real raw. Yeah. Real rap raw bummy. Yeah. Come to real rap raw bunny records. It's different when you're when you're a mom because you got breast milk leaking all over your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> Spit up on you. I'm telling you, man, that spit up, spit up designer hoodie. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. Nah, just for the dads, for the new dads. That ain't it. Yeah. Nah. That's some fly shit, and I can get like I, you know, I get it stitched and everything. And get oh the, my get god. Some, get the get the branding on there and whatnot. Why would you want to walk around like you had spit up on you? Well, niggas walk around with a lot worse. <laughs> like what? Way worse, all right? What they walk around with? I don't know, but it's just worse, worse looking <laughs> shit. This idea in my mind, it just, it, it just, it's almost like a walking chalkboard. Maybe if it was like waxed, it was like waxed. <gasps> if you waxed the hoodie and then, and then you just let the spit up drip. Mm-hmm. And the spit up was like a, a solution base where it was like, 
I don't know. 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 I got to I got to bring these ideas to the to the you know what I'm saying? Copyright patented. No you heard judgment it first. and brainstorm, but no. Nah. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's a different kind of bummy. The first the first two I remember the first time I like um Oh, she's crying. The first time I took a shower after she was born, it literally was like, it felt like I was like a new person. Felt like heaven. Yeah. Felt like life. It did. I remember both of us being like, wow, that shower was life changing. (laughs) When both of us took a shower. That first shower hit different. Yeah. I definitely hit like, man. Showers are amazing. Yeah, like getting the time to take a shower and like wash it. And this is the this is what I've noticed about being a parent is like I, I don't know if this is like a mom thing or not, but it's like if I get a second to do something, mm-hmm. I have to do it. Yeah, right away. You may not get because I may not get another it. chance to do, do that. that. <laughs> like if I woke up in the morning and have a second to go to the bathroom. Uh-huh. I have to wash my face and brush my teeth. Yeah. Like, I have to. Yeah. Or else... Get that out the way real quick. Yeah, or else I might not get a chance to do that till, like, noon. Mm. Or even later mm. in the day. Like, I have to do it. Yeah. It's more crazy. So I, see that. I see that more so for you. Yeah. I think because I have to breastfeed. she be only, like... <sighs> She's crying. She, like she needs to be on me right now. It sounds like... Hmm. What have been the um some of the I mean what's been the biggest challenge for you? Um man I mean along other than sleep, just really sleep <laughs> <laughs> and like having to feed her in the in the night, like you make it so easy though, like I I really didn't give you all the credit because you've just you just have done well thank you you're doing you know what I'm saying I'm just really doing I can't even I feel like it ain't really been no crazy challenges for me wow other than that really I mean and then like I mean I was kind of downplaying it but like you know what I'm saying like it, it, it's definitely challenging the okay it's really challenging what's challenging was the just the whole like schedule shift yeah like just having to be it doesn't ever on, stop like, on clock just clockwork like ah like you're not gonna get your sleep back for a minute yeah and somebody told me that too like it's gonna if she told us that it's like it's gonna be like a year yeah, before you're like before you back on like that, I was just like ah. But it does feel like like at the beginning it was harder. You know what I mean? Because you're not as definitely used to it. definitely the first week compared to now. Yeah, I feel like we like I feel like we kind of vets. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> you feel me, but it's like you look back. Five weeks. Off. You look back. It's like it's been five weeks. Yeah, but it feels like, like, like you've been, been through it. This shit feels like. Nick, the, listen, the first month of, of shutdown yeah, versus the first month of, of parenthood. I mean, parenthood is obviously better by a stretch, parenthood but as far as like, like how long that first month was, not knowing how long we're going to be in the house. Oh, yeah, that feels, you know what I'm saying? It, parenthood feels way longer than Parenthood that. felt like, this first month felt like, fucking year bro yeah the, it feels like like she doesn't feel like a five week old she don't but it's like she cause she, she's also growing though she's growing so pace. much like it's crazy and it's wild it's wild to see and it's like I'm and then it only goes it just gets gets faster after that I feel like like after a while yeah, yeah. it just goes by 
I know we're already like, I don't want you to be like, <laughs> I'm already like, she used to be so little. Like she was like six oh. pounds when she was born and now she's like nine pounds. That's, that's crazy. I'm I mean, like, you look at the, the little video you put together yesterday I'm on your phone. I know. Did you send me? I was looking at that like, dang, like she looks world's different from she looks the day so she was different from like the day now. she was born She's she like, has obviously, like obviously but that's crazy but it's crazy she doesn't fit the newborn diapers anymore she on to the one month she on to the one month right in time too that's crazy the timing of that was clutch we yeah. had just had the very last you didn't we didn't need a whole lot of one month i mean newborn diapers no we didn't but we had we literally had just enough like the almost the day she turned a month yeah. We ran out of newborn diaper. Actually, we we just found... We some, have one some, more. Yeah, one more, just because they was in the, the diaper bag. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. It is crazy. She already had one month, and it's going to be two months. I know. Because look at that. It's already going to be January. Mm-hmm. The half of this month is already down. I'm pointing to our, she was to our born calendar. In November. She was born in November. She was born damn near going on two weeks ago. It's so crazy. A month, two weeks ago. It's so crazy. I miss her right now. Yeah. <laughs> I like always miss her. That's if crazy. I'm not with her. But then when I'm like, when I'm like, I don't know, being a mom is really weird. It's really weird that I'm a mom. Yeah. You're a dad. Yeah. It's takes some, takes some getting adjusted to. Yeah. Takes some getting, definitely takes some getting adjusted to. Um, takes on getting used to honestly it's the best thing that's happened ever all 2020 in all my life yeah honestly you it's know what I'm saying definitely the best thing that ever happened really my whole Being entire honest, life I was trying to segue into some, some wrap up 2020 questions it's like this is the last podcast of 2020 oh it is huh it's been a crazy year we really you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying and we we apologize because we fell off <laughs> we did, uh, but a lot you happened. Know, we it back up. A lot happened, man. Forgive us, you know what I'm saying? A Forgive lot happened. Shit. Obviously, quarantine and everything. Quarantine and the baby. And but also, I was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? She was pregnant. You we know what I'm we back were moving. Heavy hitters, though. You feel me? We out here. Yeah. No excuses. No we got excuses. this. If we can do it when we have, when we barely sleep, we cannot. We can do this. Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. I we mean, do we're this. doing it. We're doing but it. Listen, I'm just saying. Coming at you, 2020. Shouts out. Uh, drop, drop a, a comment down below, man. Tell us how we're doing. Love to <laughs> rate us. Go ahead and uh, donate. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Donate to our cash app so we can get another mic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we can get some diapers shit. and some diapers and tap, <laughs> tap the baby registry in, in her bio you feel me is it still in my bio is it I think so I don't know if I ever put it in there I didn't want everybody having our address they be giving the address out on there yeah I thought they just sent it to to you for them that's wow. weird why would they give people your address because they're sending you a... But they're sending it through the app. Why am I using the app if you're, <laughs> if you're not? Why? That's dumb. I mean, it's not that dumb to give somebody an address who's sending you something. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. Just say it. <laughs> Just say it. Hmm. No, you're not, you're, not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, I didn't put it in there. But if you want our baby registry, it's still is there, it? I think. It's not, it may be on the We Don't Care. Nah, that's not Linktree. I don't know. We I can send remember. it to you. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> Hit us up. DM us. <laughs> I, just, I just dropped the cash app down there. Just <laughs> send it to the fucking cash app. <laughs> like... <laughs> if, the, if the register got the address, exactly the register got the whole address on it. <laughs> I'm sitting here just realizing that I done blasted the reg registry out. And shit. I don't know what address. What's wrong I'm with you? Dead. Okay, well. Anyways, man, it's been another it's been another episode of We Don't, we don't care. care podcast, man. Like about subscribe. To go. She's about to go feed, feed the baby. I'm about to edit this. We'll see you. Next week. Next week. Love y'all. Love y'all, man. Peace. Happy New Year's. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I forgot. I 
I knew, I knew, okay. it was, I knew, I knew it was something I wanted to say. What you say? Happy, okay. happy New Year's, to everybody, man! It's the last episode of twenty twenty. We already said we, that. We, we didn't really go out with a bang. We were supposed. To, I don't even know what else we supposed to say. But happy, happy New Year's, New happy holidays. We'll see y'all in twenty twenty one, man. Peace, blood. Love, Love y'all. Peace.